The tax man will always take more if you let him. The first lesson of having money work for you, as opposed to you working for money, is all about power. If you work for money, you give the power to your employer. If money works for you, you keep the power and control it. I came away with the impression that this guy was either the most forward-thinking finance expert on the planet, or a crack smoker who simply placed his hands on the keyboard, attached electric stimuli to his genitalia, flipped the switch, and started typing. One of the reasons the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and the middle class struggles in debt is that the subject of money is taught at home, not in school. Choose friends carefully, the power of association first. Always remember, profits are made in the buying, not in the selling. For example, one dad would say, the love of money is the root of all evil. The other said, the lack of money is the root of all evil. To be successful in the B or I quadrant requires financial intelligence, systems intelligence, and emotional intelligence. These things cannot be learned in school. My personal basis is real estate. I love real estate because it's stable and slow moving. I keep the base solid. The cash flow is fairly steady and, if properly managed, has a good chance of increasing in value. The beauty of a solid base of real estate is that it allows me to take greater risks, as I do with speculative stocks. The reason there are more employees than entrepreneurs is simply because our schools train young people to become employees. You want to be rich, you need to think independently rather than go along with the crowd. The number one control you must have to be an investor is control over yourself. If you cannot control yourself, the highs and lows of the market will run you, and you will lose during one of those ups or downs. If you think I'm the problem, then you have to change me. If you realize that you're the problem, then you can change yourself, learn something and grow wiser. Most people want everyone else in the world to change themselves. If you look at the way humans are designed to learn, we learn by making mistakes. We learn to walk by falling down. If we never fell down, we would never walk. The same is true for learning to ride a bike. I still have scars on my knees, but today I can ride a bike without thinking. The same is true for getting rich. Unfortunately, the main reason most people are not rich is because they are terrified of losing. Winners are not afraid of losing. But losers are. Failure is part of the process of success. People who avoid failure also avoid success. I can't afford it, your brain stops working. By asking the question how can I afford it? Your brain is put to work. Best, do what you feel in your heart to be right for you'll be criticized anyway. You'll be damned if you do, and damned if you don't. It's like planting a tree. You water it for years, and then one day it doesn't need you anymore. Its roots are implanted deep enough. Then the tree provides shade for your enjoyment. Find an opportunity that everyone else missed. Money into a corporation to finance the voyage. The corporation would then hire a crew to sail to the new world to look for treasure. So for most people, the reason they don't win financially is because the fear of losing money is far greater than the joy of being rich. Arrogant or critical people are often people with low self-esteem who are afraid of taking risks. A fool and his money is one big party. 
From here on in, it's imperative for you to use those emotions to your advantage, and for the long term to not let your emotions control your thinking. Most people use fear and greed against themselves. That's the start of ignorance. Most people live their lives chasing paychecks, pay raises and job security because of the emotions of desire and fear, not really questioning where those emotion-driven thoughts are leading them. It's just like the picture of a donkey dragging a cart with its owner dangling a carrot just in front of its nose. The donkey's owner may be going where he wants to, but the donkey is chasing an illusion. Tomorrow there will only be another carrot for the donkey.